Welcome everyone. Today we need to talk about the upcoming FOMC meeting that is taking place tomorrow, Elon Musk changing its location to the Dogecoin logo, and I need to show you a very interesting bullish chart for Bitcoin. At the end we also need to check our crypto trading bonds because it looks like that we've given majority of the profits back to the market. But First, majority of the crypto market is for the past 24 hours seeing a very small push towards downside. Bitcoin as of right now is down approximately 2.35%, Ethereum 1.35%, also XRP seeing quite a big push towards downside, but as we said already a couple of days ago, XRP, in my opinion, yes, a couple of days ago has gotten an insane push towards the upside and is right now forming some kind of an ABC correction. But if we go right now and check what altcoin actually has gotten a push towards the upside, that is definitely going to be Dogecoin. Now, going right now on the Dogecoin chart, yes, we are going to see that already for the past couple of months, Dogecoin has been going up and up and up. And a couple of hours ago, or I would actually say yesterday, we have gotten even a bigger push towards the upside, even a bigger pump, simply because Elon Musk changed this location to the symbol of Dogecoin. And I would definitely say, looking at this, it could be very nice and bullish information, not only for the current time right here, but also if potentially Elon Musk is actually going to allow Dogecoin payments on its X platform right here, or should I actually say on Twitter, that can definitely mean bullish times on Dogecoin ahead. Another very important thing that I need to mention is going to be the Solana chart because for the past days we also have been talking about Solana forming some kind of the falling wedge pattern. Now personally I still haven't really entered a long or a buying position on this one because of Bitcoin. I was saying to you we need to be slightly more cautious with Solana because we need to pay attention to Bitcoin potentially forming some kind of a swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab below our previous low. As of right now we are seeing only a lower low without any major sign of strength right here so because of that i would still say be slightly more patient on solana wait slightly more before bitcoin is potentially then going to see some kind of a sign of strength now yesterday i posted a very interesting tweet and also of course we were talking about that in yesterday's video but nevertheless significant bearish divergence was forming on bitcoin yesterday people were buying but market makers seemed to be absorbing all of the buying pressure exciting times ahead we talked about this in yesterday's video a lot of buyers coming into the market a lot of people long in bitcoin not able to push the price higher that is why it looks like we formed a bearish CVD divergence bearish bitcoin indication and we definitely got a push towards downside only one hour after i posted the tweet right here only one hour after the video actually went live we got a push towards downside on bitcoin so that is why it's super important for you to actually smash up the subscribe button because you want to be notified when my videos and also of course my tweets actually go live now paying attention to the push towards the downside that bitcoin is forming for the past couple of hours right here you're going to see something very very interesting and something not very bullish not only on the bybit chart for example we can also be on the coinbase chart volume on a push towards downside got an increase which means more volume coming into the market while bitcoin is forming forming a brand new lower low. This right here is a bearish and a bad sign for the Bitcoin price itself. On top of that, paying attention to how many people actually got wrecked, you are going to see insane liquidation spike right here, longs getting wrecked, approximately 30.5 million of longs getting completely wrecked. However, paying attention to the open interest, which is measuring if brand new money is coming or leaving the market, despite so many people getting liquidated, we still got an insane push towards the upside on the open interest indicator right here. An increase on the open interest right here is also going to be another bearish indication for the Bitcoin price. Why so? Money is coming into the market. The price of Bitcoin is going lower, which means people that are shorting Bitcoin are successful pushing the price lower 
lower, which of course, in my opinion, it's not really going to be the biggest sign of strength. Later in the video, I am going to share with you what is going to be a sign of strength before we can potentially go with a long or a buying position. But right now, we need to mention something very, very important. Traders expect the Federal Reserve to resume interest rate hikes. The next FOMC meeting concludes on July 26, which is actually tomorrow, and the market seems to confidently believe that the Fed will begin increasing interest rates again. CME's Fed Watch tool, which is this one right here at the bottom, shows the overwhelming market belief that such increases are coming at the next FOMC. As of July 24th, actually today is July 25th, but nevertheless, the probabilities right here are the same. The probability of interest rate hikes sits at 98.9%. Of course, looking at this specific news, I would say it's not really bullish for Bitcoin itself. And of course, tomorrow we are actually going to see what news, what data is going to come out and how it can affect the Bitcoin price. I would definitely say very high volatility is expected. And yes, I am going to share with you exactly what is the next first very important level of resistance if we are going to see bullish news coming out or if we are going to see bearish news coming out, what is going to be our first area of support. But the most important thing that we need to be aware of right now with this push towards the downside is going to be, unfortunately, Bitcoin lost the bottom of our massive horizontal range we have been trading in, we have been respecting for the past couple of months right here. Not to mention, Bitcoin a couple of hours ago hit almost perfectly its monthly pivot point. So if we go right now with our monthly pivot points, you're going to see our pivot 28,900 US dollars. It was tapped almost to the exact dollar accuracy. But most probably right now you're wondering, bro, what can that mean for Bitcoin? Are we actually right now bullish seeing a push towards downside and for us trading below our horizontal range? And can we actually expect a push towards the upside? Is there any hope left? Now, looking at the range right here, of course, we need to understand that unfortunately, the market is not perfect. Deviations can be expected. This right here, for example, it was a deviation from our horizontal range, accepted back into the range, we got a push towards downside. Looking at the push towards the downside right here, it looks like it can also potentially be a deviation, and then we can expect higher targets on Bitcoin to potentially be reached. Why am I saying that this right here can still be a deviation? Paying attention to the CVD indicator. Yesterday, as mentioned, we got a bearish CVD divergence. Looking right now at our CVD indicator, it was actually, or actually we are forming as of right now, a brand new lower low, while Bitcoin is forming a higher low. A very small, but it still is, a bullish CVD divergence taking place on the Bitcoin price. So I would say the first sign of strength we need to see for us to be slightly more bullish on Bitcoin is going to be if we are able to break our descending channel back towards the upside. That being said, if the diagonal level of resistance is going to be broken towards the upside on the Bitcoin price, that is then also going to mean we are going to reclaim our previous lows, which are as of right now acting as a significant level of resistance. So you can already see where I'm going with this. If we start reclaiming the bottom of our horizontal range, a significant resistance breaking a diagonal level, this right here is a sign of strength. And because of that, only after we start going above the level of resistance, showing this specific sign of strength, I would say, okay, we can be looking for a brand new long or a buy position on the Bitcoin price. Going with a long or a buy right here, I would say it's definitely still a little bit more risky. Why so? Because as mentioned before, very high volume increase on a lower low. And on top of that, we need to understand market structure. For example, on the one hour time frame is towards the downside. We confirmed a brand new lower high and also a brand new lower low. On top of that, we have an average down trend looking at our exponential moving averages. So because of that, if we start going above the level of resistance, it is going to be a sign of strength. But here, mate, pay a little bit more attention because we confirmed yesterday and also the day before brand new levels of resistances, brand new weekly high Trump time from area, and also yesterday a brand new daily high Trump time from area at 30,000 US dollars. So I would say ideally, if we are looking for a sign of strength, we want to see for us to reclaim the horizontal level right here, go above the diagonal level, maybe even then see a rejection at our weekly. But because then we are back in our horizontal range, we can be looking for a brand new long or a buying position after potentially retesting some kind of a support area. But as of right now, yes, it can be a deviation, but Bitcoin needs to confirm us that we are potentially going to move higher. That being said, reclaim the levels of resistances, turn them into the level of support. And again, pay attention to the area of 
thousand two hundred US dollars because right here we do have brand new high term time frame levels on the Bitcoin price. If the push towards the upside is very very weak on very very low volume, all I would say it can only be a retest of our level of resistance, and that way we are more interested going with a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price itself. But right now I would like to share with you some bullish news for Bitcoin, and that is going to be a very interesting graph. Bitcoin percent of supply last active two plus years ago and it really looks like that if we look at the orange graph which is of course the supply right here when the supply has been going up and up and up usually it meant the start of a massive bull market on the bitcoin price it happened for example back in 2015 and 2016 also it happened back in 2020 we have gotten an increase in the supply bitcoin price also rallied straight towards a brand new all-time high and paying attention to the supply as of right now it also looks like we are seeing an increase towards the upside which historically speaking it has been a massive bullish indication for the bitcoin price itself so i would definitely say very nice and bullish times ahead of us if this specific chart is actually going to come true now in terms of our trading bots unfortunately it looks like that we have given almost all of the profits back to the market of course if we write to pay attention to the bots value usdt is making us gains approximately five us dollars however for example looking at the loon usdt making us a loss bitcoin bot right here also making us a loss and another loon usdt slightly in profit so yes for the past couple of days we have accumulated some profits but as of right now we are pretty much at the starting point tomorrow i'm going to be adding even more capital most probably not really to the bonds that i deployed one week ago but nevertheless i'm still going to search for some best bots most probably i'm actually going to go with spot dollar cost averaging bots and i am going to share with you the updates in the upcoming videos but nevertheless as of right now this right here is only the experiment in the upcoming weeks we are going to be deploying even more capital to see if the bots right here can actually make us profitable to deploy the bots yourself you have right now until the july 31st time to get up to 60 000 us dollars free training bonus with the second link down below in the description and also i need to mention bybit is right now starting their vcot 8 million us dollars trading competition so if you're going to click the first link down below in the description join my team because i definitely do think with the call we have been making for the past couple of days right here we can definitely perform very very well on top of that you do have 72 hours to get extra 50 us dollars and first 10 users will receive extra 10 us dollars now there are already some people in the team so make sure you're very very quick get the bonuses and make sure you join the training competition have a great day and peace out